Centenario, ikaapat na taong anibersaryo ng Koronasyon Pontificia. Ang mag-aalay po sa araw na ito ay sina Attorney Normita Villanueva, President, Fiesta Committee 2017, Barangay Captain Marcelino Castro at Sangguniang Barangay ng Manggahan, Barangay Captain Herminio Mendoza at Sangguniang Barangay ng San Gabriel, Barangay Captain Victor Mendoza at Sangguniang Barangay ng Buenavista, Sister Emily Bakongan at Manggahan SPPC, St. Gabriel Archangel Paris Pastor Council San Gabriel, Ginang Eli Perez, Dr. Arnold Fabian, Dr. Narciso de la Cruz, Dr. Manny Francisco, Ginoong Ronald De Vera, Dr. Romel Enriquez, Ginoong Ruben at Ginang Lourdes Mercado, Ginang Dina de la Cruz Cachola, Ginoong Jerry De Leon, Dr. Arnel Garcia, Ginang Isabelinda Fernando. Isama po natin sa ating panalangin ang pasasalamat ni na Joey at Mersan Pedro, Kaador at Girly Plato, Adora at Vic Ang, Pamilya Vicente at Ramos, Pamilya De Los Santos at Verdeville, Annalisa Lopez at Pamilya, Mr. and Mrs. Julian and Family, Edgardo at Rosalinda Mendoza and Family, Edek and Mel Santo Domingo, Jesus Juan and Family, Chris Lawrence at Marilyn Herona, Neneng Clemente and Family, Tessie at Rick Tobias, Jessica, Bobot and Kids, John and Paulette Espiritu and Family, Alma Francisco, Marilyn Estrella and Family, Vicky Mendoza's Catering Services, Mr. and Mrs. Rodil Mendoza and Family, Milagros Duca and Family, May Jane Agkawili, MPO Livestock Trading, Natalia Tuason and Family, Mila Halili and Family, Alvin Casas and Family, Miko Carpio and Family, Aldrin Barrios, Rosy Patubo, Dudes at Marilumoso and Family, Engineer and Mrs. Orestes Figueras and Family, Mercy's Fresh Chicken, Jeffrey and Michelle Valeriano and Family, Engineer Benji Ramos and Family, St. Martin Co-op Santa Maria Branch, Rosemary, Mary June and Rio Rose Halili, Rolando Caballero and Family, Arturo and Teresita Jose, Concejal Jesus Jr. and Joseph Mateo de Guzman, Josefina Castillo and Family, Nico de la Cruz, Lando at Mer Ros Rosilias and Family, Romer and Meds Rosilias and Family, Odi Rosilias and Family, Saldi at Elizabeth Manuevo, Michael Viray at Jojo Mendoza, Perez Family, Celia Gonzalez and Family, Peppers Grill, Josephine Manarang, Cecil Santiago and Family, Prudencio Mateo and Family, Lucy De Jesus and Family, Dante at Dora De Castro and Family, Aurora Martin Cruz and Family, Isagani at Maria Cecilia Jose and Family, Efren at Teresita Del Rosario, Jan at Camille Relente and Family, Rosario at Bernie Digo and Family, Evelyn Mendoza and Family, Engineer Gilbert and Irene De Leon and Family, Bernardita Gregorio and Family, Reynaldo De Jesus and Family, Caitlin Huami Gumasing, Erica Angel Nario, Saldi and Elizabeth Manuevo, Grace Santos, Venancio and Noemi San, Pe San Pablo, Jerome De Los Santos, Rose and Gali, Primavera at Tamor Family, Joan at Jacqueline Joaquin, Alex and Thelma Ramirez and Family. Para po sa natatanging kahilingan, Nina Emeline Joaquin, Angela Suatenko, Leydo Los Santos, 
Jan Louis Vicente, Wemsi and Jevelyn, Alberto at Procorazon Julian, Betty Gumatay, Michael Mercado, Kyle Aldrin Alarcon, Julia Natividad, Peter Michael Nocon, Matt Victor Magdaong, Rigor Atlani Salazar, Jose Manuel Castillo, Jeng Aaron and Yana Avorque, Queni Katahan and Family, Rose Ann Katahan, Epodasho Company, Orestes Figueras, Kimberlyn at Kenneth Figueras, Charles Christoph at Charles King Pandes, Gian Cedric Nicolas, Renato at Nenita Gregorio and Family, Nikki Gurley, Gloria Cabuhat, Gerard Jaden Gregorio, Sherman Gregorio, Michelle Valeriano, Marie Immaculate Clemente, Christina Ricafort, Joshua and Juana Manuevo, Ine Gale and Family, Ruby Gale and Joel Viray, Joaquin and Gilio, Adora Ang, Aikin Karen and Sidelia, Rona May Banikid, Albert Velasquez, Angelica, Angelica and Lucas Marcus Celedones, Ida at Jamie Ramirez, Laura Cabrera, Odi Rosillas, Carandan Family, para po sa kaarawan ni Victor Bongat. Isama rin po natin ang mga kaluluwa ni na Romeo, Angelo at Apple, Concepcion, Dolores, Siriaco, Felisa, Aduedato, Julia, Corazon, Magdalena, Norma, Emilia, Elena, Luisito, Lauro, Marcela, Maxima, Alfonsa, Clarita, Emilio, Policarpio, Edmund, Paselito, Ramon, Marita, Lydia, Milagros, Ramon, Ricardo, Jose, Encarnacion, Jose, Milio, Priscilla, Luzbiminda, Arby, Michael, Emerlinda, Rogelio, Ronaldo, Juan, Concepcion, Dolores, Siriaco, Felisa, Adwedato, Leonardo, Fortunata, Senaida, Teodolfo, Fe, Natividad, Perpetua, Marciano, Ana Maria, Priscila, Gregoria, Diego, Pastor, Emerlinda, Virgilio, Michael, Nenita, Florentino, Felix, Remedios, Salvador Sr., Amorsolo Sr., Cipriano Sr., Cipriano Jr., Leocadio, Dolores, Estelita, at lahat ng kaluluwa sa purga, purgatorio, lalo't higit yaong walang nakaaalala. Ang mangunguna po sa ating pagdiriwang sa araw na ito ay si Lubhang Kagalang-Galang Charles John Brown Didi, Apostolic Nuncio sa Pilipinas, kasama ang Lubhang Kagalang-Galang Dennis Villarojo, Obispo ng Malolos.
on the first day of February in the year of our Lord, 2020, a momentous event transpired wherein the venerated image of La Purissima Concepcion, revered as the patroness of Santa Maria and the regent star of Bulacan province, received a solemn pontifical coronation. This ceremony was conducted in the name and by the authority of His Holiness, Pope Francis. His Grace, the Most Reverend Jose Serofia Palma Didi, the Archbishop of Cebu, presided over the ceremony in the presence of the faithful gathered. Today, we mark the fourth year anniversary of this historic coronation. His Grace, the Most Reverend Charles John Brown Didi, the Apostolic Nuncio to the Philippines, along with His Excellency, the Most Reverend Dennis Cabanada Villarojo Didi, the Bishop of Malolos, will once again crown the Queen and Patroness of Santa Maria, reverently bestowing this honor upon the venerable image of La Purissima Concepcion.
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Please be seated for the welcome address of His Excellency, the Most Reverend Denis C. Villarojo Didi, Bishop of Malolos. Your Excellency, Archbishop John Charles Brown, Apostolic Nuncio in the Philippines. Dear brother priests, led by our rector, Monsignor Albert Suatenko. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Although this is not the first time that His Excellency has visited us in Santa Maria, this is the first time that he visits us on an occasion related to the canonical coronation of the image of our dear patroness, La Purissima Concepcion de Santa Maria. Four years ago, in 2020, our gathering to witness the canonical coronation of La Purissima was a joyous celebration but with a tinge of sadness because at that time there was no apostolic nuncio yet named to the to the Philippines a, as a canonical coronation it would have been fitting and proper that the apostolic nuncio be the one to crown our dear La Purissima we are However, grateful that Archbishop Jose S. Palma, Archbishop of Cebu, generously and graciously accepted our invitation to do the honor at that time. Today, four years later, Your Excellency's presence completes our joy. We have witnessed just now the reenactment of the coronation of La Purissima by the Apostolic Nuncio in the Philippines. As it is often said, better late than never. Welcome, Your Excellency, to the Basilica of La Purissima, and welcome once again to the Diocese of Malolos. Your presence always brings gladness to our hearts because you bring to us the care and solicitude of the Holy Father, Pope Francis. As we welcome Your Excellency, we also renew yet again our loyalty and fidelity to the Holy Father, who sits in the Sea of Peter and presides in charity over the whole universal church. Please stand. Thank you, dear Bishop Dennis Villarojo, for your very kind words of welcome. I'm delighted to be here once again in Santa Maria to celebrate Holy Mass with all of you and to reenact the coronation of your beautiful image of Our Lady La Purissima. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we are gathered together today on the fourth anniversary of that pontifical coronation of the miraculous and beautiful image of La Purissima Concepcion, patroness of Santa Maria and radiant star of Bulacan province. For 232 years, the faithful of Santa Maria have dwelt under the protection, the motherly and maternal protection of Our Lady, our Blessed Mother. Throughout these centuries, you have been the fortunate recipients of God's benevolence because of the presence of Our Lady. You've experienced His grace that not only transforms, but also molds us into a people deeply connected to God, all through the intercession of His Blessed Mother. So now, brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate 
the sacred mysteries of Christ's love for us, let us acknowledge our failures and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Gloria in excelsis Deo.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. When the time of David's death drew near, he gave these instructions to his son Solomon. I am going the way of all flesh. Take courage and be a man. Keep the mandate of the Lord your God, following his ways and observing his statutes, commands, ordinances, and decrees as they are written in the law of Moses that you may succeed in whatever you do, wherever your turn, and the Lord may fulfill the promise he made on my behalf when he said, if your sons so conduct themselves that they remain faithful to me with their whole heart and with their whole soul, you shall always have someone of your line on the throne of Israel. David rested with his ancestors and was buried in the city of David. The length of David's reign over Israel was 40 years. He reigned seven years in Hebron and 33 years in Jerusalem. Solomon was seated on the throne of his father David with his sovereignty firmly established. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from harm. 
Though lions roar with hunger, we lack for no good thing. No wonder then we praise him with our song. Let us exalt his name together forever. I sought the Lord, he heard me and delivered me from my fears. Let us exalt his name together forever. Oh, sing his praises, magnify the Lord. Come, children, now and hear him. If you would see long life, just keep your mouth from wickedness and lies. Do good and turn from evil. Seek peace instead of strife. Love righteousness and God will hear your cry. Let us exalt his name together forever. I sought the Lord, he heard me and delivered me from my fears. Let us exalt his name together forever. Oh, sing his praises, magnify the Lord. Let us exalt his name together forever. I sought the Lord, he heard me and delivered me from my fears. Let us exalt his name together forever. Oh, sing his praises, magnify the Lord. stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to them, Wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave from there. 
Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. The twelve drove out many demons, and they anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. be seated. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey, but a walking stick, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, for me as your apostolic nuncio, as the representative of Pope Francis here in the Philippines, it gives me so much joy and happiness to be with you once again here in Santa Maria, in Bulacan, in the Diocese of Malolos, to celebrate the fourth anniversary of the glorious canonical coronation of this beautiful image of the Immaculate Conception, La Purissima Concepcion, the image of our Blessed Mother, the patroness of this parish of Santa Maria here in Bulacan. I was and I am so happy to be with your beloved Bishop, His Excellency, the Most Reverend Dennis Villarojo, Bishop of Malolos. I thank him for his very kind words of introduction in my regard at the beginning of Mass. And I also want to thank in a very special way the Reverend Monsignor Albert Swatenko, the Rector of La Purissima Conce Concepcion, who is the one who invited me to this wonderful ceremony this evening in which we remember the day four years ago on February 1st, 2020, when Archbishop Jose Palma crowned Our Lady here in your church, bestowing this honor which came from Pope Francis on Our Lady, on your parish, on this wonderful minor basilica of La Purissima Concepcion in Santa Maria. I was reflecting on the fact that there are many cities and towns throughout the world named for St. Joseph, San Jose. So San Jose in California, there's San Jose's in different parts of the world. There are not so many towns named for Our Lady as yours is. And that's a great and beautiful honor that you have, that your municipality is named for the Mother of God, is named for Mary, Santa Maria. How beautiful is that? I'm also here this evening because it was one year ago today that Carmelita Vargas Salcedo was called to eternal life, finished her pilgrimage on this earth on this day one year ago on February 1st, 2023. So I wanted to be close to the Salcedo, also the Vargas families, and demonstrate and manifest my closeness to them at this moment. I offer the Mass for Carmelita, baby Salcedo, when we thank, and we thank God for the gift of her life, the gift of her family, the beautiful witness of her faith. The Gospel of Mark, which we heard this evening, talks about Jesus sending out the twelve. And as you heard, he sent them out two by two, he instructed them to take nothing for the journey, nothing at all. Those words 
are deep and rich in significance and meaning. Take nothing for the journey. Don't take any food or sack or even any money. Take nothing for the journey when you go out to preach about Jesus. Why? Because the apostles were bringing the most precious thing possible, the biggest and greatest gift that God can imagine and God can give to the world, the gift of Jesus, the gift of faith. And it's for that reason, when they're carrying that most precious gift, the gift of faith, transmitting that gift, any other kind of baggage is superfluous and unnecessary. So they take nothing for the journey. And it's also an indication to the apostles that they are to have complete trust in God's providence, that God will take care of them. Don't worry about bringing a sack. Don't worry about even bringing money for the journey. God will take care of you. God will take care of you. Complete trust in God. We have to have that same attitude, that same experience of trust in God. And you know, the apostles later on in the Acts of the Apostles, which follow the Gospels, we read about how the Apostle Peter was in Jerusalem and a crippled man asked him for some money. And remember what St. Peter said to the crippled man, silver and gold I do not have, but what I have I give to you. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, get up and walk. So the most precious gift, silver and gold, is not the most precious gift. The most precious gift is faith in Jesus, faith in eternal life. That is what the apostles went to spread throughout the entire world. Peter ends up in Rome as the first pope, crucified upside down in and near where St. Peter's Basilica is today. Imagine, the Romans crucified Jesus and Peter was too afraid to be at the feet of Jesus at the cross when Jesus was put to death, when Jesus was crucified. After the resurrection, Peter, who was filled with fear, becomes so courageous that he decides to go where? To Rome, to the place where those who crucified Jesus came from, to preach the word, to give this precious gift of faith, the most precious gift imaginable. Other apostles went to India, St. Thomas, all over the world, taking nothing for the journey except the most important thing, the unum gentisarium, the one precious thing, God's grace. In a certain way, that idea of trusting completely in God didn't only happen to the 12 apostles when they were sent out over all the world. It also happened some 30 years earlier before the apostles were sent out. It happened in the town of Nazareth when the angel Gabriel came to a young woman, a girl, certainly a teenager, in Nazareth and told her about God's plan for her life, God's intervention into human existence. And as the gospel tells us, Mary was deeply troubled by the words of the angel. She was afraid. She wondered, what does this mean? The angel said, don't be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son and give him the name of Jesus. And Mary then responds with total trust, total abandonment to God's plan. What does she sh say? I am the handmaiden of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to thy word. I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to thy word. So maybe this idea of complete trust in God's providence, in God's ability to make everything perfect in his own way in our lives, if we trust him. That motivation which sent the apostles out throughout the entire world was, how should we say, already evident in Nazareth, in the young girl, Mary, who said yes to the angel. And by her yes, Humanity was changed, the cosmos was changed because God became man in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us, brothers and sisters in Santa Maria, here in the Diocese of Malolos, let us imitate the trust of the apostles. Let us imitate the trust of Mary. 
Let us be trusting in God's providence. God loves us. He knows what we need. He takes care of us, especially for living in God's grace, for receiving the sacraments. His life is in us. And anything that happens to us, even things that can be difficult, is part of God's plan for us. And even the difficult things can be transformed into joy, transformed by God's grace into something beautiful and perfect. God loves us. He takes care of us. Take nothing for the journey. But you know, brothers and sisters, those words which I've been quoting to you, take nothing for the journey in English, also in Italiano. We have three Italian priests visiting us this evening. We're delighted to have them come celebrating with us for visiting the Nunciature with Don Vjekoslav Holik, who works at the Nunciature as the secretary. There's three Italian friends visiting. Even in the Italian gospel, it says, take nothing for the viaggio, for the journey. But that's not what it says in the original Greek. In the original Greek, it says, take nothing for the way. Take nothing for the hodos, hodos. Now, if you look to my right, or to the left of me from your perspective, you'll see this sign about the synod on synodality. Hodos is the second word in synodos, synody or synodality. It's soon, which means with, and odos, which means the way. So the apostles heard Jesus tell them, don't take anything for the way, for the way. And we interpret that as don't take anything for the journey because the journey is on the way. But the word is hodos. The word is the same word that gives us synodality, which is soon, meaning with, odos, meaning the way. And that leads us to the other point that's made in St. Mark's Gospel, that these apostles went out not by themselves, but, if you were listening, two by two. They went out with someone on the way, with on the way, soon, meaning with, odos on the way, sunodos, synod. The synod is to go on the way with other people, not by yourself. That's the whole idea of synodality, that we as a church are journeying together, not by ourselves, but together on the way, on the way that leads to the kingdom of God. And how beautiful is that? And that's why Pope Francis is asking us to reflect on the church as a synodos, as a synod, as going on the hodos, the way, soon, together, together on the way. That's what the synod experience is all about. In the early church, the beginning of Christianity, they used to say about Christians, I will say it in Latin and then translate, unus Christianus, nullus Christianus. What does that mean? One Christian is no Christian. A single Christian is not a Christian. Christians are together. We're a group. We're the mystical body of Christ. We go together towards the kingdom of God. And that's the whole point of the synodal process that we're going through, brothers and sisters, to be together on the way. And that way has been traced by people who went before us here in your beautiful historic parish here of La Purissima in Santa Maria. We are people worshiping tonight in this church in a long line of Christians who prayed in this church before us. And this synodal process, this walking together, we're also walking together with people who went before us. So the synodal process is not only walking together with people together tonight, 2024, but also with the people who went before us, following in their footsteps. That's what the synodal path is. And if we want to know which way to go, we follow the milestones the signposts in front of us who are the saints who went before us on this path that leads to the kingdom of God. So the synodal process is not only asking ourselves as a group to go forward together now, it's also a process in which we reflect on the communion of the saints, the beautiful saints who went before us, and we follow their path because we are one with them in the mystical body of Christ. So all of these themes come together tonight the coronation of Our Lady, the idea of trusting in God's providence, and the beautiful synodal process that we're involved in at the, in at the invitation of Pope Francis. 
and you can see for me as your papal nuncio, it gives me so much happiness and joy to be part of this celebration four years since this wonderful canonical pontifical coronation. And of course, this mass is part of the preparation for your fiesta, which will soon be happening, part of the novena for your fiesta. So I say in anticipation of your feast day, happy fiesta, may God bless you. Don't forget to pray for Pope Francis and pray also for me, the apostolic nuncio. God bless you and keep you under the watchful care of Our Lady. Now we offer our prayers of petition and intercession. Brothers and sisters, with profound humility, let us pray to the Lord our God, who has done great things to Mary, ever virgin, and who continually does great things for us and to our church. So let our response be, Lord, hear your people's prayer. Lord, hear your people's prayer. Strengthen Pope Francis and the church. May our faith be stronger than our institution, actively affirming God's holy word and making us the living body of Christ, we ask. Lord, hear your people's prayer. May we embrace a spirit of repentance, help us leave complacency, abandon our prayers, and become, and become instruments of healing, we ask. Lord, hear your people's prayer. For a spirit of holy detachment, May we understand all our relationships and possessions as gifts and blessings from you, we ask. Lord, hear your people's prayer. May world leaders find ways to heal division and polarity, break the cycles of hatred, anger, and violence, and move all people toward harmony and peace, we ask. Lord, hear your people's prayer. Sustain all who are afraid or alone, those who are grieving loss, those held by addiction, anger, depression, or anxiety, those who seek a new beginning, opportunity, or direction, we ask. Lord, hear your people's prayer. For our personal needs, for the sick and the dying, and for the intentions we hold in silence, we ask. Lord, hear your people's prayer. Gracious and loving God, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you gave to us as our mother and our queen, we ask you to hear our prayers and grant us new life and hope and trust through faith in your infinite love and generosity for us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds and the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, Saint Pedro Calungsod, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Charles, our Apostolic Nuncio, and Dennis, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, and all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their pa passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy your forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord through whom you bestow on the world all that is good through him and with him and in him O God Almighty Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the words of gratitude of Reverend Monsignor Alberto R. Suatenko, P.C., Rector and Parish Priest, Minor Basilica and Parish of La Purisima Concepcion. On behalf of the community, Christian community of La Purisima Concepcion Parish, Santa Maria Bulacan, we want to thank Your Excellency Archbishop Charles Brown for your generosity in gracing this momentous occasion in the life of the parish. We also would like to express our appreciation through this small token of our gratitude. Gayun din naman po nais nating pasalamatan ang ating ama ng diocese na palaging naririto dahil alam kong mahal na mahal niya ang La Purisima Concepcion. As a matter of fact, you know, ay pagka may bisita siya from Cebu, palaging isa ang La Purisima Concepcion Paris na pinagdadalahan niya ng kanyang bisita at ang pinaka-importante niyang bisita ay yung mama niya. Palaging naririto yung mama niya once pangpunta rito sa Bulacan. And we want to express also our thanks kay Bishop Dennis Villarojo na hindi nagkukulang sa kanyang pagiging ama ng atin pong parokya. Gayun din naman po ang ating mga kaparian na nakiisa sa ating pagdiriwang. Nais natin silang pasalamatan. Ano? Yung iba'y first time ding nakarating dito, coming from Italy, ano? ay nakasama ng ating mahal na nunsyo at uh, nakiisa sa ating pong pagdiriwang. Nais din po nating pasalamatan ang Vargas Salcedo family for facilitating this occasion and facilitating our invitation to our papal nuncio. Maraming salamat sa inyo. Ngayon din naman, nais natin pong pasalamatan ang atin pong ano, Fiesta Committee 2024 na sa panahong ito ay palaging nakaagapay po in all our activities in preparation for our Fiesta 2024. Maraming salamat sa inyo, Fiesta Committee. At uh, higit sa lahat na is kong pasalamatan ang atin pong mga lingkod ng simbahan. Naririyan sila palagi sa background, ano? pero ano, hindi magaganap itong ating pagdiriwang ng maayos without their cooperation and contribution. Sa mga lingkod po ng ating simbahan, ano? maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Please stand. Okay, Deacon, I won't. Oh, the other Deacon, another Deacon. I don't want to take his. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. 
May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Ora pro nobis sancte Dei genitrix. Oremus. Omnipotens et eterne Deus, qui gloriose virginis matris Mariae corpus et animam, ut dignum fili tui habitaculum effici merere tur, Spiritus Sancto cooperante preparasti, Da ut cuius commemorazione letamur, eus pia intercessione abistantibus malis, et a morte perpetua liberemur. Per eundum Christum Dominum nostrum. Divinum auxilium mani et semper nobiscum. Amen.
after after uh, the priest we would like to request the fiesta committee 2024 for photo opportunity after the fiesta committee follows the la purisima concepcion execom May we call the Vargas Salcedo family for the photo opportunity.